So um, two years ago, I was ready to to stop to JRAM. In fact, uh, it was bec it became a pain to JRAM. Um, mainly, uh, I used Illustrator. Uh, I tried to to move to Inkscape, but I failed. And uh, uh, the fact to JRAM was so painful that uh, I decided to. Don't, don't draw more books. And uh, I want to move to something else. And, uh, but I wanted to, to make a, a book with my diagrams. And um, it was so painful that uh, I was ready to, to pay someone to draw, <laughs> to give all my royalties to pay someone. And uh, my neighbor said, he is infographist, he said, but you should test affinity design. What is it? It's a new program. It's completely new. They build something from nothing. And they use new technology, new approach. The ECME Illustrator is a war machine, very powerful, with a lot of features. But it's, uh, it, has, it has been built uh, from uh, step by step, layer by layer. And now it's so complex that it's very, you need to be a professional to use it uh, fluently. And that's true that when I worked with my, um, on my book uh, with, for example, a drawing origami collection, each time that I have to, to, um, to change something into the diagram, it was painful. In fact, uh, for me, the workflow is what it was hard. There's no flow. I want to do something, I move and I have to stop. I listen. I remember how I had to do that. I look for a tutorial. Okay, I understand. I move again, and again I stop. Oh yeah, I have to click, right click, do that. that. And I, I'm too lazy to really learn to use Illustrator or Inkscape or something like that. I want something with a flow, something that I, I have pleasure. And. Uh, uh, we can see there is a gap between two years ago, I decided to stop the DRAM, and now I try to find most of my time to, to use my computer to draw. And I try to find excuse to, to draw on my computer, it, because it becomes today a pleasure. And my point today is not to, stay, to tell you that Affinity Designer is better than Illustrator, it's not better. Maybe, or probably, you can do the same, or better with the Inkscape. So, uh, so I don't want to fight. I don't want uh, to try to convince you that it's better. I want to share. I want mainly to share with you that today I have pleasure, pleasure to use to draw, and I have pleasure to use this program. I have pleasure to spend my time on my computer to draw diagrams. And it's for me, it's a big gap. I was ready to stop, and now I want to use all my time on my computer. <laughs> and that's what, and what I want to share to you, not try to convince you it's, a bet, it's the best program. Uh, and, um, so I want to, I want to illustrate to you some, uh, some feature. I don't want to teach you how to use the program. You will find uh, many tutorials to do that. I want to show you why I have pleasure, why it's Okay, maybe it's only for me, <laughs> but why I like to use that. So um, there is not uh, so many icons. Uh, mainly you have uh, some icons here. Okay, I will not to explain. I will start to draw something. And uh, I create an empty file. And uh, you can see some of page. Uh, oh, uh, one key to draw faster is the mouse. The mouse. <laughs> you buy a gamer mouse with a lot of buttons. <laughs> it changed it change my life. <laughs> and uh, just to do that. Okay, uh, you can see gra uh, a guide to help. So, okay, let's go. Uh, for example, I can start from... Uh, one of my diagram. What can copy past, for example? Uh, you can see here 
how I manage the layers. So the page one. And I have the, tit and the title, the number, and each step is clearly here. You, you can see? Okay. So I can choose to take the number and the title. And when I copy paste, it, pa it passed exactly at the same place. I don't have to move. Uh, I know that in other program we can pass and just here. No, it's, it's exactly in the same place. I don't want to choose the, na the number, so I'm going to log them. Okay, let's go for to draw uh, to draw the first diagram. So I, I need a square. And when I draw a square, what it's good for me is that you can snap immediately on what you need. And okay, I need a, a color. Let's go for one color. And I want to keep this color as the main color of the uh, of the diagram. So I want to save that. So I, uh, we have a style, library, okay, and uh, I de can decide it to. Oops, what? Okay, I made a mistake. <laughs> I lock the numbers, so I have to move that in the first. And now I can create a style. So you can see the style is here now. So each time that I want to draw something, I just apply. Okay? Probably you do that with the other program. But for me, it was unbelievable to, that I can do that so fast. And of course, you have to draw. Or you can uh, see it snap automatic automatically the, the crease. And again, I have my style. That's so I need an, an arrow now. And an arrow, I can draw the arrow, for example, like that. Okay. And oops. Okay, it's a bad arrow. <laughs> I can uh, change the arrow here, but it's not. Very fluent like that. What my preference? Oops. My preference is to use a library that I build. I can show it to you. Oops, not that. It's not so easy to <laughs> to work behind you. This is my library with all my arrow. So when I need an arrow. I just need to, to take one and do it. Okay. So the next step, what I like is to just in one click to move it. So I, I like to this kind of copy uh, in this way. And uh, I will change quickly. The style like that. Okay? So now if I want to, to do uh, angle based sectors, you can see automatically uh, to 22.5 degrees. Okay? Again, a valley. And what I like also is that I can move easily Oops, not like that. If I want to adjust, you see, it stay on the line. So it's very easy. Okay, I can put um, this kind of icon. The arrow. You see, it's fluent, in fact. And uh, I can even pass the the text. For example, I have all my text here. It's always the same text, usually. <laughs> so it's fast. OK, next step. So we can uh, try to organize better. So for example, I copy that on my layers 2, OK, uh, and layer 3. You can see how it snap automatically, even the text. For example, if I have text like that, I can just move and move immediately. 
of course, you have uh, some uh, thing like that, okay? Uh, for example, which one? This one. Okay, but usually you don't use that. Uh, and then, uh, if I have to to change the face, this tape. The square is a square. We have to, to convert. Okay, don't uh, don't uh, don't keep that in mind. You see how I can move easily. And if you see the layers, so I, I'm going to to make it the three third layers. Here we have uh, something that I want to remove. It's on the top, so it's easy. But if it's here. When I select, I select the square or the, the shape. If I want to obtain that, I just click on Alt and click on Obtain. Even if it's Hide, the Alt key uh, brings you in the layer. So it's easy to, to catch something behind. And, okay, again I continue. You can snap, it's easy to snap to all. Another color, for example, that. And I can uh, ch ch uh, change, change the shape easily, for example, to, uh, to make a curve. Uh, what, what happens? Okay. It's ugly, but okay. You can, it's easy to do, to do that. And if I want uh, a shadow, for example, I can just copy past this, uh, these layers. So we, we have the subsequent layers. I can decide if it's black. I remove the, I don't know the name. <laughs> and uh, I can change it as a shadow with the opacity. Okay, and I move it. This here, oops, not like, like, like that. Yeah, okay. But I can also bl um, bring blue because I have a, a, a function here to bring, uh, to bring blue. Don't try to keep that in mind, just to show you how it's fluent to do that. And you can see in direct how you can uh, change that, okay? Okay, it's ugly, it's not a good diagram, it's just to show you. <laughs> okay, and then, um, the, okay, we have another version. What's not, not this one. Yes? Uh, we, uh, you can change the, the grid. Um, here. here I decided to divide in, f um, in four, but I can de decided to divide in three. So now all my angle will be 30. We can try, I never try. Yes? Okay. So only 30, 30 angle. Okay. Uh, okay, I, I will not show you too much option, but you can see how it's fluent and uh, how it's easy to just move step by step. And when you have to make the main uh, feature, it's easy to to find what you need. What I like also is uh, mm, the nest feature. This is one of the best features of, of this, uh, of this uh, program. I can show you what is it. It's very powerful. Uh, for example, if I take my penguin, okay, so I take this step. I move another another page. This is my step. I put it in a layer. So I have one layer with my penguin. Okay? I want to zoom on that. So I'm going to create a cycle. I remove the So I want to zoom on that. 
So what I need is to copy past that, okay? And I increase because I want that it's now big. And I want to remove all the body, okay? So I show you how it works. Oops, sorry, what I, I want that for a minute. So I have a penguin and a circle, okay? I just take the penguin and move into the circle. It's done. Okay, I, I, I remove that because I select it. But <laughs> if I s am able to select only that, another layer, okay, now I, s I put that in the circle. And I can keep, uh, I can uh, move it to uh, replace it. But you see how it's very easy, in fact, to to create a zoom. And it's because of the nest uh, function. N the nest is when you have two, you are two layers oops, here, and you put one layer in another. Okay? Uh, if, exa uh, for example, I want to make a text here or to explain something, I can decide it to, for example, to make something like that. It's very ugly. It's, it's not so easy to work <laughs> here, not behind you, on front, on front of you. Okay. I don't know. How, oh, okay. It's because uh, I need another layer. Okay. And I want to write a text, for example, CFC is the best. Oof. Uh, also for the text, uh, there is a lot of powerful function, like for example, you can uh, change immediately and see the result here. You can uh, see the last you used, or the most, most current. And if I want to highlight this text, for example, with a rectangle, and uh, move it like that. Oh, what I did, what I done. Okay. I can decide it to snap this rectangle and that. So it's easy, you see? And now uh, I can change that. All that is an image. So I, even if I want to click on the yellow, uh, I have to select the yellow to, to move that. But if I click on the layers, all change like that. If I change that, I have to select exactly inside to move, okay? I will show you more nest feature later. It's very powerful, and when you draw diagrams, sometimes you want to move only a part of the diagrams, not all, only some flap. And so you can either group or nest the layers, and just you have only one layer with many uh, layers inside. Okay, what I want to show you more. Um, Sometimes we can use photo in your program. For example, uh, here the, the indexed index of my upcoming book. It's, it's coming. Okay, you, you, you have the photo here. Okay. And uh, obviously, you can easily work on the photo. Change the photo. For example, if I want to. Uh, to change the level of the photo, okay? You don't have to move to Photoshop or another program. And uh, I can, uh, of course, uh, create shadow, even complex shadow, for example, for the, for the elephant. Okay, you see all the shadow. But what I like is uh, when I want to, to work more on the photo, not only to uh, to change uh, the, the contrast or something like that. I show you an example. For example, I would like to include this photo. Okay? It's the it's a original photo. And I want to include here. So you can see a, a good example of the nest feature. 
the original image is here. You see? And because I want to not uh, show something here, I nest in this, uh, in this uh, shape. So now, all that I do, I can hide uh, what I want. OK, I remove, remove that. I remove the car. And now I put the image here. So it's not, it's not beautiful. <laughs> what I need is to remove part, uh, part of, the, uh, of, the, of the background. So first, I can work as Photoshop on, on the photo to make it better. OK. And I can nest that, for example, in this rectangle. So I remove the, oh, if, for example, here, 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 I don't, didn't talk about that, but you can easily create the, the gradi, uh, gradient of, um, of color. Okay, it's very powerful and easy to use. Okay, I, we don't need to, uh, to, to do that. So I have a rectangle here, you see the layer. I have the photo here. I just move the photo ins inside the rectangle. Okay, and if I want to to adjust, I can do that. Okay, but it's not Photoshop. I, uh, for example, you can see the perspective is not very great. Even if I turn the photo, please. Okay, it's not good. So. If I want to change the photo, I have to save my photo, open Photoshop, work on Photoshop, and come back and include. Here, look, I just go to modify in Affinity Photo. And now, in Affinity Photo, which is here, I have the same file. And now, I have a powerful, so Photoshop, Affinity Photo is the same than Photoshop. But it's fully compatible, and you can f the workflow is uh, immediate between all the programs. And I have the same file with the same format. I can move what I want, but now I can work with a more features. So, for example, I remove the, the photo from the from the rectangle, and I want to adjust the photo and what I want. So this is my pattern. This is a rectangle. Okay, so you, you have the basic function of Affinity Designer. And I want to make it perfect rectang rectangle. So I, I, I increase the okay. so now I want my photo is exactly in this square, this rectangle. It's not possible. So I use a function like Photoshop, like for example for the, uh, the grid, and I can move it like that. Okay. I can move again. I can even even do something curve. Okay. Okay. You don't uh, don't care that it's perfect, but <coughs> now you uh, you have uh, the photo you want. You can. Decide it to nest into the rectangle. Of course, you have all the function to, like Photoshop, to change the colors, change uh, what you want. <laughs> but now, it, when I snap, it's okay, it's not very perfect. But you understand the, how uh, how it works, okay? And if I want to come back to my designer, I just go to designer. And I continue, and this is what is the, uh, what I've done. So I continue the work of what I need. I don't have to s to open another fi another program, change, save, open. In, okay, all is in the same. In the same way, I can use the same thing in uh, Publisher. It's the same as Affinity Designer. So if you use to uh, to, to to work in in InDesign, Affinity Publisher is pretty the same. I, I don't know how to use this program, so I will not explain. But so you can f swap from designer, photo, and publisher in the same flow. Okay? So we come back to photo because uh, 
what I like also, if I, if I want to, for example, uh, remove the, the B, I'm sure that I am on the, on the photo. Okay. You can easily, okay, you have a lot of function to, um, to remove uh, an aspect, uh, to, to remove or to, um, uh, to, for example, to remove the background. So I, I, did it, I did it very quickly. What I like, for example, is when uh, we are, you have a curve, uh, for example, here, you can exactly adjust the, uh, like that. So let's go very quickly. Okay, now I select that, and so I want my B. Okay. This is, I have, uh, I have now another B, okay? And I can, so uh, you, you see, you can't see the B because it's included in the rectangle. So I have to, oh, for example, copy, uh, copy paste in another layer, okay? And now I can continue on my uh, designer. Okay, it doesn't work, oh, it's here. <laughs> okay, you see how it's fluent to use that. Um, what I can show you now. It's easy also to import any PDF that saved me a lot of time. For example, Quentin Trollip sent me his time to fold models and it drew, it drew on the AutoCAD. Because it's, it's the worst program. <laughs> and it sent me a full book three years ago, three years ago, and I was unable to use the, his DRM. It's impossible. And uh, because of Affinity Designer, now the import in, into the diagram, it's very easy. I, I, I have all what I need here. If I want to change something, all is easy, and uh, you can see uh, this. So this program, this is original file, and um, now the file is uh, like that. So this is all the okay time to fold. So this is how I, I can update with color and uh, uh, change the layout, uh, bring the text, and pff, in ten minutes. Okay, so it's uh, and uh, for Raman Diaz, uh, his first um, is a very old diagram. As uh, Raman is here, <laughs> you your Barcelona frog, you remember? <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> and uh, I was able to save you pro uh, this uh, this uh, diagram because of Affinity Designer because I was able to import correctly. And I was able to bring color easily. But now it's available uh, with your book. Okay. <laughs> and um, okay, uh, a, a very last feature that I like. I'm not sure if you are going to use it, but I like it. <laughs> so I want to show you. Uh, it's to paint the diagram, the, the, the step. For example, if you have, um, mm, what I can show you. For example, this alligator snapping turtle. This is uh, the final steps. And you want to, you have shadow, but, but you want to enhance the model, for example, for a cover or something else. Uh, but you can paint, paint, and you can obtain something like that. And inside this program, it, it's very easy. I can show you more example. For example, the, what I've done, the, uh, the wall. You see how I paint it? 
or for example the um, the lionfish like lionfish okay so maybe you don't want to do that maybe you 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 like to to have a flat color but you can bring some interesting shadow and it's very easy to do that with affinity designer with other program you have to save the the image work on for, for example in photoshop or procreate or i don't know and then import here you do that so i'm going to show you and i choose a model especially for dave uh, where is my model um, the sparrow. So I, I, oops, I save space. Okay, so it's just it's a PDF uh, from Illustrator. Okay, and uh, I can use it easily. You can import also all the Illustrator um, file. So this is a Sparrow from uh, 212 moving. So I want to end the model and make it more beautiful. So I just remove what I don't want. I copy in another layer. Okay. So I put in a layer, one layer. I duplicate the layer so you can see where is duplicate. Oh, it's here. Okay, another. So three sparrow. The original is here. Now I want to change the color of that. It's this one. It's easy. Just bring color. Choose. For example, brown. Okay. So it's quick. And then I want to paint now this one. So I need to define where I, I, I don't need to do that, but it's more easy if I do that. I want to, to tell where I want to paint. So I, I, I will uh, use this one. I use only the. I don't know the name. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. So now I have, so, it's, it's here. So I will arrange my layer. It will be more easy for you to understand. Okay. And I don't want the white. So I remove the white. Okay. Now I want to paint. Here, I was in Affinity Designer. Now I, I move to this icon. This I, I show you now something because I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to forget. This is the export function. And this is so great. For example, if I want to export just that, I select that and I save. And I have just this photo. And uh, we, you can, we, I hope to find it somewhere. Mm, where is the download? The download? No, it, where is it? In CFC. Okay, not here. Oh, yes, thank you. So you have the photo, okay? And so you can work uh, on d different image and just take what you need in your photo. You don't know to export all the image and then cut exactly what you want. Okay, come back, I come back to paint. To paint, it's here. And the background change, you don't have the same icon, now you can paint. And I'm going to paint using this pencil and uh, I so I uh, you, you have 
here lay vector layers. Now I, I want pixel layers. This is the pixel layers. You see pixel. And now I paint. For example, I will. So for example, if I need to catch a color, it's very easy to catch a color. I just click here, select, and you have the color. Okay. I want more point color. For example, like that. And I choose a paint. I, I like this kind of green. Nothing. Okay, and not this one. Yeah, this one. And uh, for example, I want to to bring texture to all the model. So I'm going to paint. Okay, it's ugly. Don't worry. I'm just move the opacity. Okay, so the model is dirty, and. I want to remove all the background. So I just nest the pixel into the curve. And I have only the texture on that. OK, it's not very visible. So it's my, my example is not very good. But you can see something like that. OK, but it, it was not a good choice. So I just remove that. OK, now I want to bring shadow. So shadow. I will paint the shadow. For example, I want shadow here. I want shadow here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Like that. Okay. And uh, I want to remove what I don't want. So I'm just. Oh, sorry. The opacity is. Uh, so I can remove what I don't want. I even uh, can select some here, mm, something more specific, and be very precise to remove what I want. Okay. So do that quickly. It's bad. Oops. The same way here. And if I want to change my uh, here, I remove all, but I can decide it to paint uh, to, to, for example, to, to have a more powerful uh, <laughs> remove. I, I don't know the name. For example, here you can see I can remove this way with opacity here. You can see I can adjust exactly what I want. If I want to, it's very ugly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can see here. I don't want that. I just move inside. In the same way, if I want to bring something only on this wing, I uh, I want to find this wing. I find it immediately here, and on this shape, I can draw and only on this shape. So my pixel is here. I want to draw, for example, uh, color uh, light. So maybe I will choose something uh, like that. And I want to draw light. My pencil is here. Okay. No, it doesn't work. I want light. It doesn't work. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry? <laughs> um, okay, I will draw, you know, uh, not the light. So I want to bring some something like that. And if I want to uh, to be only on the wing, I just move onto the wing, OK? And uh, the same, if I, uh, not, not the same, but uh, I come back here. It will be more easy to, to show you what I want to show you. So I paint. Okay. 
and again with my layer here I put inside okay so it's absolutely bad <laughs> but it's just to show you how you can paint and then you can obtain something great like uh, again I can show you another example if you like to spend time you can uh, for example have um, flying fish I spent a lot of time to, to do that you see <laughs> okay but it was just for, for the fun because I want to test the technique you don't need to to do that for all the model but you can bring shadow um, a very good shadow uh, and bring um, uh, volume for example for the Goria by red paper it was one of the of the my first uh, paint so it's not the best but I want to show you how I can bring volume mm. how to make mammoths Goria you see the the original version and after the paint and that bring the, the 3d effect okay and I think I say all what I want to say yeah that's okay. all thank you very much tell you because when I start the program was very young and all the future that I show you doesn't exist didn't exist and the program collapsed each 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> and mainly because I was the first to, to draw something for example for the for the grid uh, oh, where is it for the grid here uh, it was difficult for me to understand how to that first I can d have uh, several page and then I can put grid okay so step by step I have to learn on tutorial to to know that so but I, I could say that after two days I was able to draw diagrams in fact and now because I uh, uh, for example I didn't understand how to make arrow because at the, at, the, at the moment they didn't create the arrow head and I didn't understand how to use the library and when I discovered that it's what becomes so easy and now I share that to you and I create a Facebook uh, page to, to share all my content so if you want to, to start you just have to download my assets download some style for example for the, for the, for the quiz you see that uh, you have all kind of quiz and so it becomes very easy because all you need is on front of you. It's, you, do, you. If you want to do something, just take it and draw. It's not there is no height function or something like that. What you what, what you can cannot guess, if for example, is to to um, to change the uh, the grid. When I tell that you can. Make it three, for example. So it's advanced function, so, so it's difficult to guess by yourself. But all the rest in one day, uh, for example, for Cheng Sao, uh, when he decided to start to draw his book, I said, "Okay, I make a book with you, but please <laughs> don't learn on Illustrator or Corel or Inkscape. Please start with Affinity Designer." Two days after, he sent me his first uh, his first diagram, and he did all the book uh, using this program. So I think now it's very easy to use. I bought it 35 euro and I think when it's out outside the promo 
period, it's fifty dollars, for example. And it's not a, a, a yes, you work and you keep it ever. Exactly. And for me, there uh, was no pr problem to give money to this uh, guy because it's a, a small team. They just try to, to create something new, so uh, it's okay for me to support giving 50 euro. Yes, probably. <laughs> I can show you, uh, I share with uh, everyone my quiz and uh, my asset, so you don't have to, to recreate for you. I think yes, yes, there is a big forum with a lot of. I don't know. I don't care about that. <laughs> in fact, but my neighbor, which is infographist, say say me that um, infographist now move from Illustrator to Affinity Designer massively. But I don't know more about that. <laughs> I, don't know. I know there is uh, 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 for the origami, origami community. We are a small group, and uh, I'm not sure it's very famous yet. But I'm sorry, I don't answer that.
Yes. I need a feature that they don't have, and I need to use Illustrator for that. Um, when you want to print in high quality, for example, you have uh, this uh, area. You need to print in CFG, CM yellow black. Okay, so it is fetch. And this line is not black, so I have to move it like that. Okay, so to save my time, now I've saved this as a style. But sometimes you forget, or you draw something new, and you forget that you have to change the black. And, 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 and also when, uh, mainly the other author, give me like the Sparrow, for example, uh, usually it's from Illustrator or Inkscape, and Inkscape can't manage CM yellow black. It's the most worst thing for <laughs> for Inkscape. It's uh, I I lost six months with Tetsuya Gotani to publish his book because of that, <laughs> because of Inkscape. I hate Inkscape. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I lost six months. <laughs> it's a mess to to export something good from Inkscape. Sorry. Um, so uh, I when I receive a, dia a, a, a diagram, all the black are not. It's uh, one hundred percent black, so I have to move to change to update all the black, and I need Illustrator to do that. And so, okay, it's not a big problem because uh, I use Illustrator in the last step. I work on Affinity Designer. All is great. All the layers are perfectly <laughs> classified. Classified. I just have to check and change the black. So I open the PDF in Illustrator. I change the black in one, one step. I save and import again in Affinity Designer, and all is the same, except the black would change. And now the, uh, the program is ready. But Illustrator kill all my layers. Okay, So I have to do that only at the last step, just before the publication. So I, I really need they include that. But they, they improve a lot, the program. For example, when I start, uh, there is no arrow. Um, uh, the the, the 22.5 degree angle was not possible. The grid was moving, we can't fix it. So step by step, they improve, because it's uh, when you write on the forum and say, I don't know to, how to do that, or I have a problem to do that, or could you? Uh, work on that, a developer replied to you. And uh, I, remember, I remember we asked uh, for the 22.5 degree angle to do that. And uh, okay, one year after, the update, and they include the function. It's the same for the grid. It was very, very annoying to, when you are here, imagine you are here, I, okay, I, uh, I will unlock. You want to do that. <laughs> And the grid is moving. <laughs> no, I want to select that. And uh, you select the grid, and it's moving, and it change all your reference. OK, so it was very uh, boring. Now you can fix that, and you cannot move the grid. OK, so I like the, this community because they are young, they are active. They reply to you. They explain if they cannot do that, or if they could do that one day. So it's um, I like the, this kind of energy. Probably yes. Okay, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, you are right. This is a grid, uh, but you can have. Um, or see uh, so the guide, but you can have a, a grid like that. And of course, you can uh, change, uh, like you say. Mm. And you can decide it to snap onto the grid. For example, here, I can snap, OK? But here, I have a lot of function to, to say what I can. Uh, for example, here, I can uh, snap on the grid snap on the reference grid, or maybe I don't want all that. Okay, 
so you can really select what you want to uh, to snap. Thank you.